I'm very glad to receive our descendants from the diaspora. We apologized for the mistakes of our ancestors, those uh, parasitic chiefs who sold our people, but we, we belong to a different uh, orientation. 1914, 1912, that's when the African National Congress of South Africa was formed. That was the beginning of the African resistance. But it started in the USA. There were some Afri African American people, W.B. W. B. Dubois, and uh, another, Pademore. They are the ones who started the Pan Africanist movement. So we are part of that heritage. Although, although we are apologizing for the chiefs, those who would not be part of our group, those would be traitors. We regard them as traitors. Our heritage is the Pademoa group, WB Dubois, the ANC of South Africa, 1912, and now our groups, which came up. The, Man the Mandela's in, in the 1940s, the Nyerere's in the 1940s, Nkrumah, and then our group. So it should be clear that we are not part of, of people who sold you. <laughs> who sold you, your ancestors. The, the ones who sold your ancestors, we are traitors. We regard them as traitors. Even now we have traitors, even today. We still have traitors who go, who go there and, and, and betray us. So we are totally, we are a new line of Africa. Uh, Patriotic and Pan-Africanists. We are Pan-Africanists. We are part of the Pan-African movement. So we are going to work with you very closely. We have everything here in Africa. We have everything. You have heard of a country like India. India has got a population of 1.4 million. 1.4 billion people. But Uganda, uh, uh, Africa, is 12 times the size of India. You can fit India into Africa 12 times. Africa is four times bigger than the United States of America. So it's a huge potential. So I'm glad that our people are linking up with you we are going to do miracles together. Now, I am glad that uh, the example, the, the, the preacher from, from Ghana was happy to see the example of the unity among the religions of Uganda. Well, I don't know whether they want to admit where the unity came from. Because before the, before, before the NRM, they were very, very disunited. But when the NRM came, The NRM is, is, is our political movement. In fact, up to now, we have not allowed the churches to open, to have what they call chaplains in the army. In, in, in other armies, like in Ghana, you have chaplains. Reverends were in the army and, 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 and sheikhs. But, but here we expelled them. We say, Kwenda, 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 you go. From the army. Because they were divided. They, they were not doing the work of God. They were doing the work of somebody else. Divided among themselves, fighting. Then I normally tell our people here, have you read the story of the Good Samaritan? The Good Samaritan 
God doesn't go by labels. This man who was injured and abandoned on the roadside, the religious people came and passed by him. It was somebody from another religion, from another tribe, who helped him. And that's what Jesus gave that example of the Good Samaritan. So eventually, these people, the religious groups, they seem to have borrowed that message of the, of, of, the, of, of the parable of the Good Samaritan, which is we shall know them by their deeds, not by just the talking, the talking, the talking. So I'm very glad. I want to congratulate the religious leaders. They formed, they have a government of all the religions. They are what they call the Interreligious Council. They are members. You, you had them introducing them. Even the Muslims. Muslims. The president of Iran was here. I think he was surprised. Because when he, first of all, he's a Shia, but he was able to go to a Sunni mosque in, in, in Kororo. And when he went there, he found bishops in their bishop robes. He must have been very, I saw him. Uh, and you know what is happening in, the, in some of those places. Shias against Sunni, Christians against what? In Ukafiri, that's, that is Ukafiri. We, we, we don't support that. And I'm glad the church people, the most people have understood it. I'm very happy. Uh, so finally, ah, the preacher preached about the dream that you should share our dream. Yeah. You know, I hear you have got somebody called Ichisare, who is your prime minister. I think he speaks a dialect which I like very much from, from Budaka, Eastern Uganda, which talks of Abakorura Echida Chonka. Teach me each keken. Maraj. That's the dream. Mulekera o okora orubuto woka. Mukoro rubuto nensao. Ate mukosechi baro. Is that not the dream of the NRM? Okay, go and dream the same. Now, finally, the tractors. I have no problem. I've got some tractors. I can share a few with you. 